this video, I'm going to guide you through setting up a workflow action to automatically send an email prompting students to book into refresher courses before they expire. I have already set up the template that will be sent to my students, so I will not cover that in this video. Firstly, it's important to ensure that we have a validity period set against all units which do expire, such as provide first aid. This is the field our workflow will be looking at to determine which units are expiring. Next, we're going to navigate to the report builder and select the unit of competency enrollments warehoused report. We're going to clear out the default filters. And I'm going to add the days until current competency expiration and also the unit of competency filter if you wish to restrict this workflow to specific units. I'm going to set the days until expiration to equal 60 days. However, feel free to customize this value. Next, head into the display field section and select both the student contact ID and the class ID, and then press done. Finally, submit the report. Don't worry if there are no results. That just means no one has units expiring exactly 60 days from now. Now we're gonna go ahead and save the report. Remember to include the word workflow in the saved report title. Ensure you, you share the saved report internally as well, as this grants the workflow engine access to the saved report. Once that's done, we're going to jump into the workflow system and go to schedules. As you can see, I already have a daily schedule set up. However, I'm going to create a new one to trigger at a slightly different time to the other one. It's always a good idea to spread out your workflows throughout the day if possible. I'm going to name it 1 p.m. daily. And I'm going to set it to run once per day at 1 p.m. Now we can go ahead and create the new automated task. Make sure to give the task a name, Refresher Email Reminder. And a search for Contact Template. And select the Send Contact Template action. Up into the bottom, change the trigger to Report Row Event. And select the Saved Report. and choose the new schedule we've just created. Moving back up, double check that the two contacts has been populated with report data, contact ID. I'm gonna select the refresher reminder e email template that I've already set up. And I'll also change the sender to be my Accelerate Communications user. Lastly, Ensure the template data is using class ID from the report data, and then go ahead and save the automated task.